This is The Floor, Gymnastics Ireland's flagship participation-based event that showcases gymnastics as a skillful, fun, entertaining and exciting sport in a performance show which features gymnasts of all levels, ability and ages across every discipline of gymnastics. This thrilling event continues to grow in popularity year on year. One of the clubs who has participated every year from the start is Arabian Gymnastics Club. Arabian Gymnastics Club is based in Baldoyle in North Dublin. This is one of their teams, the Diamond Display Team. Along with their coaches and the support of their gym, these gymnasts are determined to put together an amazing routine to show their skills and talent at the floor. Okay guys, so we're four weeks in now. We've learned about four minutes of the routine so far. How does everyone feel like we're getting on? Good. Yeah? Any bits that you're finding really hard or that you're really enjoying? Um, I'd like to go over the first dance again. I just keep, I, yeah, I just think I need more practice with it. Yeah, I, I think there's a few people who need a little bit more practice. <laughs> that's okay, that's what we've got. Like, we've still got three months to learn this, so that's what we're doing. We're going to learn it all now, and then we're going to perfect it as we go on. And we've got lots of time today to go over the dance, so yeah, that's good. My name is Sheena. I am one of the display coaches here at Arabian, and I'm also a manager. Okay guys, we're going to get started now, okay? We're going to do a bit of a warm-up, so just everyone's going to stand up, we're going to do some running and we're all going to follow Alana. <laughs> I've been coaching since 2007. Do the maths there, that's... <laughs> what's that? 15 years? Arabian's open since 2005. Display probably came soon after, I'd say probably 2008, 2009, we introduced it. We started with WAG squads and we kind of felt like there was a bit of a void in their training. It was all very serious and we kind of wanted them to have a bit of fun. So we brought the display team in. We've got the whole floor today. This is a bonus for us. We never have the whole floor, so let's use it all. No, let's just use two lines of it. Okay. <laughs> the coaches in the club would have come up through a display club themselves and I've been doing it since I was 13 in a display team and the girls I did it with would all be my best friends still to this day like go to each other's weddings, we're there for each other's christenings, everything like that. So we kind of just wanted to bring something like that into the club, bring the girls a little bit closer, let them kind of have fun, but make friendships that are going to last. OK, guys, we're ready to get started. Yeah, get jumpers, bottoms off and get into your starting places, please. The girls love display team. They like it. They want to be on it. OK, guys, into your starting places. Plenty of parents asking about us, so we ramped it up to two and three, and now we have four teams per week who train, and they'd all kind of have 25 gymnasts on it, so over 100 display kits. The interest is just phenomenal. Steady, heads, one, two, three, collapse. Fab, right, let's try five, four. Ready, yeah. steady, heads, one, two, three, collapse. <laughs> we have so many teenagers that we had here as gymnasts, Myself, I'm actually in this routine and I'm coaching it as well. Um, it's so much fun for them, everyone loves to come back. Loads of the girls who like did gymnastics here years ago and then we kind of haven't really seen back since COVID. We thought, you know, loads of the kind of 16, 17, 18 year olds weren't gonna come back. And then when the word went out about display teams, they were all like, I'm in, I'm in. Everyone wants to get on board. Okay, five, six, seven, eight. Roll and one, two, down, up, down, back, turn. I found display is a great way of getting the older girls into leadership roles, especially helping out the younger ones. We've had tons of our display team, ex-gymnasts who've come through and they are now coaches in the club. Okay, can you go without me? Well, probably since I got half it wrong. <laughs> I would say 90% of gymnasts who choose to leave the WAG squad end up on a display team. A lot of our coaching team here who would stick with display up to the age of kind of 25, 26, that they undoubtedly wouldn't have if we didn't have a display team option. Keep going. Yay, that was really good. Unreal. How's well done, guys? Come on, loads. It's way better. So in the lead up to the floor, we generally would start working January, February on the routines. We'd pick a theme or a music. Usually it would be like a musical or an art, a pop artist, or it could be a film, anything like that. And the coaches would generally kind of pick that out and they'd sit down together, make up the routines, and then as the training sessions happen, they'll teach it to the kids week by week. Generally, kind of the end of April, you'd want the routine to be finished. And then we spent a month 
six weeks cleaning it up and perfecting all the little details on it. The balances that we pick out necessarily don't always work and the kids are great at coming up with ideas, Instagram, Pinterest, like Facebook, you know, they see things online and they're like, oh, that looks really cool, can we try that out? So they'll be involved in that way as well. The floor is, it's always gonna be an event that we attend. It's part of our calendar without a doubt. Fab, well done everyone. That was great work this week and we'll see you guys next week. Well done everyone. Bye. 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 Thank you. See ya. In the next episode, we will meet the gymnasts and hear about their experience as they prepare to take to the floor. 